details like previously right on T-Man 978. I like this detail right there. And I definitely like this holster. I've never watched any reviews for this guy, so I didn't know he had this cool holster for the gun. Typically, they... T-Man 978. Chill review. Hello, everyone. T-Man 978. Right now, I'm reviewing McFarlane Toys, Fortnite figures, Drift, and Rex right there. Oh, they look awesome. Drift, definitely, when I saw him, he was the first one where I was like, I'm getting him on site. And Rex looked cool, too. And since they were on sale at GameStop, I figured I might as well get both of them. But they should be standing unassisted. They may be live leaning on each other right now, but they're superposable. So let's just get to it. Let's look at their packaging real quick. It's kind of just what it is. It is what it is. It's exciting when you see the figure actually in there. I don't believe these characters have personalities. I was trying to look that up. And I couldn't find anything as far as their personalities. But, yeah. And I don't think this GameStop code is going to help you at all. But there you go with that. Every one of these come with this Fortnite disc, which acts as a stand. And they all have pegs, peg holes on the bottom of their feet. Okay, for this section, I need to come in with a voiceover. I can disregard everything I'm about to say because these figures can fit in with Marvel Legends. It, they're not really Marvel characters, so if you want to fit them in, they can work as you're about to see right now. Because Bishop right here is the same height as them. Now, Bishop is a tall Marvel Legends, but who's to say that they're not tall? So, if you wanted to fudge them into your comic book characters, they can work with your comic book characters. Because... They do not look lifelike like MCU characters. You have them next to you, you can fudge it. Or you could say that these are big basketball player type size people. Here they are next to a real seven inch figure. Kratos, Neca Kratos, so yeah. They're like kids compared to him. My complaints are few and far between, so let's get them out of the way first. The hips, because Mix Farland is sleeveless to sculpts, it looks like they don't move, but actually this crotch part is on both of them is a softer piece. Once you like wedge that under there, you can get the legs to like spread out. Unfortunately, this is how they peg together. If you get too crazy with your posing, you will pop the leg off. And on drift, it's even worse. I'll just let you see this joint. Like we got this little plastic system right there. I mean, technically it does have thigh rotation, but because of the way it's sculpted, good luck. I mean, you could twist it out that way, but good luck. I mean, it's better once you get the leg out like this if you want to twist it, but you can actually pop that little peg that I was just moving with the screwdriver you can't pop that out of this socket. So you have two things to worry about. So the hips, definitely both of them have basically the same hips. They are the worst part of this figure. They can kick forward decently before ripping that off. And here's what I was mentioning. That plastic part comes off. But as I'm looking, I see that this part can rock in there. If I have any suggestions for McFarlane toys, and if anybody knows them personally and is watching this and can pass it along, I would say redesign this situation right here, definitely. Make those pegs probably longer, but then you might break them. And then maybe a drop down hip situation right here. If these drop down and I haven't tried, if they drop down, he could they could get better leg articulation, and that would be awesome. But as we just saw, getting that back on is simple enough. That's all you need to worry about. Depending on how crazy you get, I wouldn't go more than this. You 
can stretch out like that, but if you try to rotate it too much, it'll pop it off. Now that was my one complaint. Everything else is nitpicky. Like I like that they have this butterfly joint thing that is like a universal thing. It swivels all the way around. So it almost acts like a ball joint on top of this universal or dual hen system for going out. But I wish it could crunch in more so you can get the arms more in front of their body. That would be awesome. Other nitpick these hands the the universals on the wrist are easy to maneuver they are stiff it's a case by case basis one hand might be all right while the other hand is fighting you like this one's fighting me this one's not but i wish since they do come with guns or weapons with triggers they don't have trigger finger hands like that was an afterthought I guess I could slice through that with a bleed so that I can get one of the fingers in there. In fact, that's what I think I'm going to do because that was definitely an afterthought right there. It looks silly with them holding guns like that and they can't have their finger in the trigger. So it would be cool if they came with separate exchangeable trigger finger hands or all of their fingers should have trigger, trigger fingers. They should just do that. Outside of that stuff, like that's like I said, the hips are a genuine complaint. They need to improve that some type of way. Everything else is like a nitpick, but this guy has some other issues. I guess they could be nitpicks too. Like right here, they have the universal joints for on the ankles. I could bend that and rotate it. So now he has ankle pivot. Excellent ankle pivot and this soft ratchet. But if I rotate it this way, it comes forward. He has the same feature, but because of the way the foot is designed, I can't get access to that as well. Like I try to like rotate it the same way, but it is difficult. <laughs> like I can do it one on one foot, but not on this foot. And the only other problem with this guy, even though I want him the most, see how this collar comes up i wish that they had the collar coming up and going around his neck and i but i wish the hood was a separate piece because he has all the same neck articulation as this guy like the head can rock four at the base it's on a ball joint at the top so you can rotate you can tilt the head and whatnot not much up motion really not much down, but that's due to his freaking sculpt. This guy has all the range. It's crazy. Like his neck rotates. He has more range of motion under here, under this hood than him. But because his head is glued to the top of this hood and the back of his head is shaped square, I don't think you're supposed to see in there, even though they did mold in ears in there. And you can see his white skin he can't hold the pose no matter how far you twist that head it's gonna go back and that frustrates me to no end like every pose I come up with for this guy cause he's very poseable even though he has this pliable vest on he's super poseable but not being able to turn the head is aggravating so he has the same shoulder articulation as the other one both of them have bicep swivel both of them have double jointed elbows that bend in a lot double jointed knees what they feel like is somewhere between marvel select and Mar marvel legends they both have like two points of articulation in the diaphragm so he goes back that much comes forward they can tilt, whatnot. They can do everything you want would want them to do. So they, they're kind of on par with SH Figure Arts, but slightly above SH Figure Arts in certain ways. So if McFarlane Toys could definitely work on some of the things that I nitpicked about, these things would be awesome. The paint and sculpt is immaculate and cool. I love it. 
this one has a few flaws like you'll see paint missing here or there on the pink a paint chip here or there on the yellow but outside of that it is awesome and whatever type of paint they put on this mask is spectacular because I've been doing all types of stuff like this and I'm not rubbing the paint off the face so they did a good job there here is Drift's little floaty backpack. And this is substantial. It doesn't feel hollow. It does make him a little bit back heavy. Here's Rex's, which just looks like a lizard or a dinosaur. His doesn't go all the way into the back. In fact, be careful because I felt like I was going to rip the bag off trying to force it in there. Let me see if I can zoom in on his face right there. Excellently sculpted. No shading or anything. Which is about accurate with the with the video game. Because they're halfway between realistic and cell shaded. Here's his little melee weapon. I was disappointed that this mouth doesn't open at all. It's two separate pieces, but they didn't mold it in such a way where it would actually be functional. And it is cool that they put this detail like this would be the handle or the lever that actually makes the mouth open, but that doesn't function. But nicely painted and solid once again. Here is his rocket launcher for Rex. See the X's and O's. A lot of detail, a lot of paint. And here is Drift's Slurp Juice Canister on a stick or on a pipe. Now this does make, this doesn't really move. It's a little bit pliable, but it doesn't really move. So it does make holding it a bit difficult. You have to find the certain locations where to put his hands. But if they had the more inward motion, that's what I was complaining about as far as the butterfly joints. If they had a different design, he could hold it more naturally or, or in better positions to make his poses look better to me. But let's still look at the top of this cake. There's a lot of detail in there, so yeah. Here are the pegs on the feet. And I didn't mention the toes. Both of them have functioning toe joints right there. But and here is Drift's gun. I didn't didn't show that off. So yeah. I really like these. Like McFarlane is known for great amounts of detail and sculpt and paint but for these to have articulation on top of that like like I said in my toy hunt I don't play Fortnite I tried to play it I wanted to play it because it's free I can get it on the switch but I just felt old <laughs> as soon as I turned it on I felt old like I didn't know what I was doing so tried to play a couple times and I just had to give up I have to leave that for the young people. Anyway, I really like these. I can suggest them. If you can get around the little nitpicky things and definitely the complaints I had, you'll love these figures too. Anyway, thank y'all for watching. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. videos click the in videos baby click click the videos you should really click these videos click click the videos